Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sam Valenti. We are here on the Varsity Sports Show, joined by Suwaro defensive end and University of Wisconsin commit Tristan Monday. Tristan, welcome, my man. Hey, thank you for having me. So I'm, I'm curious, um, what's the feeling like knowing that you're going to play for one of the most prestigious programs in college football? Uh, there's no feeling like it. I mean, they were the number one overall defense last year, and when I got the opportunity to play for them, it's kind of hard to turn that down. Yeah, de def definitely, man. So, so like, like I'm, I'm curious, when did – at what point did, did did kind of Wisconsin like 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 come up to you and say, "Hey, you know, you know, we want to recruit you and stuff." But kind of at what point did that start? So I had some communication with them towards the end of my freshman year, going into sophomore. But once COVID started, um, they became really quiet and just everything became stale. And uh, after the Sierra Canyon game this year is when it really picked back up again. I started talking to their coaches, and I've, after about one or two weeks, I got the offer. And then the next week, I went up there on my official and. Uh, committed to the Badgers. That's awesome, man. So originally you actually committed to the University of Arizona before, you know, you committed to Wisconsin. So kind of what changed your, your mind, uh, you know, in that scenario to decommit and then to commit to Wisconsin? Uh, I'd say the visit, seeing those fans that everyone in Wisconsin just loves football. And I've said it before, it's hard to turn down the number one defense in the country. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm curious. What do you think about the the culture on the Wisconsin campus when you visited? What what were your thoughts there? I I haven't seen anything like that. I mean, your idols there. Everyone goes to the game. It's always a packed house, no matter who they're playing. And then just some of their game day routines, like for the fans, jump around at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Yeah, you can actually start feeling the stadium shake, and that was a special experience. Definitely, man. That in out there in Wisconsin, they have a fantastic culture and a great fan base. Once again, we are joined by Wisconsin commit Tristan Monday here on the Varsity Sports Show. So, when you were at Saguaro, you became an elite pass rusher. I'm curious, who are some inspirations that you've had on your style of play? Uh, growing up, growing up, I always loved watching JJ Watt play, but as years went on. I started getting into like the personal trainer stuff and my like speed and strength trainer, Reggie McGill, he was a big inspiration. He played at U of A and played a little bit in the NFL. And then Bertrand Berry was my D line trainer uh, and he played in the NFL for 13 years and finished his career with the Cardinals. So those two guys really, really got it going. Wow. That's awesome, man. You, you know, you know, you know, speaking of swore, I'm kind of, kind of, I'm curious, uh, who are some figures at Suar who like really helped in your development uh, on the football field? I'd say by far my D line coach, Kyle Caldwell. He was the Gatorade Player of the Year at Suaro, a D lineman. He played at ASU, and we built a really close bond as the years went on. And I got nothing but love for him. Yeah, def definitely, man. That's that's awesome. What are um what do you say are are some of, your, some of your favorite memories of being at Saguaro? And this could be from on or off the field, just like hanging out with teammates, whatever. Uh, definitely some of like the team meals we had, whether that was for D-line or captains. And on the field, there was nothing better than holding that state championship trophy. Oh, my, oh my gosh, man. Yeah, what, what was that fee feeling like, you know, when you're holding that trophy after putting in all that work to be a state champion? What was that feeling like? I, it didn't feel real at first. And like when we were taking the knee at the last second, just watching that time run down, I was like, we really did it. And it took a second to like be holding the trophy to realize we really did it. And I've never had a better feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to win the state championship, that, that, that is an amazing accomplishment that you guys had. So you're going into, into Wisconsin, you know, you know you're going to be playing in front of a in front of a great fan base you're going to, you know, it's one of the biggest programs in college football. I'm curious, what are some expectations you have of yourself going into this freshman year at Wisconsin? Um, I want to do whatever I can to get on the field, whether that's on the special teams and getting some reps on D line as soon as possible. I want to make my presence known as soon as. I can. Hey, I, I definitely think you will, man. I definitely think you will. And then I'm also curious. Do you just, do you just have any messages for Wisconsin fans, maybe, you know, what they should expect throughout your college career? Uh, 
<laughs> I got. I just want to leave my mark. I I know the two Watt brothers went there, but I don't like to compare myself to other people. I want to be myself, but something along those lines of their historic careers there is what I'm shooting for. Oh man, that's awesome. Hey, I could definitely see that happening. I could definitely see that in your future. And then also maybe just some last messages for the Sawaro fans who have gotten to watch you these last four years. I love all you guys. Thank you for supporting me over the last four years, whether it was the ups and downs, but I nothing but love for everyone that supported me and the team. But once again, we have been joined here on the Varsity Sports Show by Tristan Monday. He's going to be a star at Wisconsin. Tristan, once again, just thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.